Hi everyone, my name is Dana Poponete. I'm a policy manager here at Access Partnership, and I'm here with the latest on the AI Safety Summit. Following on from the inaugural AI Safety Summit last year in Bletchley Park, governments, industry leaders, and civil society organizations met in Seoul last week for the second edition of the summit. Over the course of two days, representatives discuss advancements in AI governance and international cooperation, as well as topics not previously covered before by the summit, including the environmental impacts of its AI and the equitable distribution of its benefits. The result of these discussions, three key documents, two at government level, the Seoul Declaration and the Seoul Ministerial Statement, and one at industry level, the Frontier AI Safety Commitments. The Seoul Declaration seeks to enhance international cooperation on AI governance, including by engaging with various global initiatives such as the Hiroshima AI process and the OECD's work. The Seoul Ministerial Statement brings together 27 governments and the EU to collaborate on defining AI risk thresholds. Ministers also emphasize the importance of a global AI strategy focusing on safety, innovation and inclusivity. Finally, the Frontier AI Safety Commitments brings together 16 global AI tech companies from the US, China and the United Arab Emirates, pledging to focus on key areas including accountability, transparency and risk management of Frontier AI. Over the coming nine months and ahead of the next summit hosted by France in February 2025, stakeholders will continue their collaborative efforts by establishing specific thresholds to identify and manage severe AI risks, developing a safety framework, and continuing dialogue and research. Now's the time to lay the groundwork ahead of the summit's next iteration. To understand more about how we can help, get in touch with our team.